you today. I am feeling so fabulous and what a coincidence because our book today is about emotions. feeling fabulous and I hope that you are too. H-E-L-L-O, H-E-L-L-O, H-E-L-L-O. Hello and how are you? Hello my wonderful children. How are you today? I am feeling so fabulous and what a coincidence because our book today is about emotions. What do you know about emotions? Can you name an emotion? What emotions can you name? Yes. Good job. What else? Awesome. You are doing an excellent job. And it sounds like you are a specialist in emotions. Do you know about the emotion worried? Have you ever had a time where you felt worried? Well, today we have a book called Wimberly Worried and she worries so much. I think that you two may have something in common. There may be something that happens in the book that once upon a time you were wondering about or worried about. Well, without further ado, let's... Did you hear that? You know what time it is. It is time to learn about the emotion worried. Let's head to our thinking board. Thinking board, thinking board. Let's work on our social emotional development today. The focus skill is emotions. The emotion that we're going to be talking about is worried. So what does it mean to be worried? Have you ever had a time where you felt trouble or anxious? Or you were thinking about problems or fears? Or you were just feeling fear or concern because you think that something bad has happened or could happen? Look at the picture. What do you think this child could be worried about? Could he be worried about scoring a goal? Could he be worried about dribbling the ball correctly? Could he be worried that someone may come and take the ball away? Or those are all feelings and thoughts of someone who's worried. Wimberly Worried by Kevin Hankins. Wimberly Worried about everything. Big things. I wanted to make sure you were still here. Little things. Mama, what if I shrink? And things in between. Wimberly worried in the morning. She worried at night. And she worried throughout the day. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. At home, Wimberly worries about the tree in the front yard. What if it falls on a house? And the crack in the living room wall. What if it gets bigger and something comes out of it? And the noise the radiators made. What if there's a snake inside? At the playground, Wimberly worried about the chains on the swings and the bolts on the slide and the bars on the jungle gym. To us, to and us. always she worried about her doll, Petal. Should Petal have a cow seat too? I'll wait for you, Petal. Petal's lost forever. I found her, sweetie. Don't worry, said her mother. 
Don't worry, said her father. But Wimberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. When Wimberly was especially worried, she rubbed Puddle's Petal's ears. Wimberly worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Petal would have no ears left at all. On her birthday, Wimberly worried that no one will come to her party. See, said her mother, there was nothing to worry about. I wish I had my birthday today. But then, Wimberly worried that there wouldn't be enough cake. On Halloween, Wimberly worried that there would be too many butterflies in a neighborhood parade. See, said her father, there's nothing to worry about. But then, Wimberly worried because she was the only one. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. Soon, Wimberly had a new worry. School! Wimberly worried about the start of school more than anything that she had ever worried about before. By the time the day, the first day arrived, Wimberly had a long list of worries. What if no one else has spots? What if no one else wears stripes? What if no one else brings a doll? What if the teacher is mean? What if the room smells bad? What if they make fun of my name? What if I can't find the bathroom? What if I hate the snack? What if I have to cry? <gasps> she really is worrying about so many small details. But to her, it's really big. Don't worry, said her mother. <gasps> Don't worry, said her father. But Wimberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. She worried all the way there. While Wimberly's parents talked to the teacher, Miss Peachum, Wimberly looked around the room. Then Mrs. Peachum said, Wimberly, there's someone I think that you should meet. Her name was Jewel. She was standing by herself. She was wearing stripes and she was holding a doll. <gasps> Sounds like they have some things in common. They're alike in some ways. At first, Wimberly and Jewel just peeked at each other. Then, she said, this is Petal, said Wimberly. This is Niblet, said Jewel. Petal waved. Niblet waved back. Hi, said Petal. Hi, said Niblet. I rub her ears, said Wimberly. I rub her nose, said Jewel. Throughout the morning, Wimberly and Jewel sat side by side and played together whenever they could. Petal and Niblet sat side by side too. Wimberly worried, but now more than usual. And sometimes, even less. Before Wimberly knew it, it was time to go home. <gasps> Sounds like she survived the day. Come back tomorrow, called Mrs. Peachum as the students walked out the door. Wimberly turned around and smiled and waved. I will, she said. Don't worry. The end and 
when the story's over and when we reach the end we live happily ever after in the land of make pretend bomb bomb bubbly bop and when the story's over and when we reach the end if you think you like the story and you want to read it again just hit like subscribe and right before your eyes you can watch it over again and again I hope that this has caused you to stop your worrying because at the end everything will be a-okay. I wish you a very great successful school year and hope that you are not worried about your new teacher or your new friends or learning virtually or learning face to face because everything's going to be a-okay. Until next time. So long!